Well, good afternoon, YouTube. Well, the demolition of another part of the Hewitt soap factory is underway. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get you guys as good a footage as I did of the food for this because I have to stay further back here, but they got at least two engines out here dousing all the hot spots from all this the excavators over that way at least I think I was told they only got one and it's Jurgens right now that wall they got to get that knocked down at some point I know you've seen this movie a thousand times on this side of town. I see what your jacket said. How is it, Inspector? I live not far from here, and it's just sickening, you know, what's happened here, you know? What would be your message to the people setting these fires on that are doing all this right now? Yeah, we're not doing that. What? Why you do it for the media, though? You don't? But they, hey, at least I respect your honest enough to say that, then. Hey, so, hey, just out of curiosity, since you guys got this site active in the one on Food Fest, how many other job sites are you guys demo demo in today? <laughs> or is it just this, these two, I or is it? I don't want to be on your film. I'm, I, no, I'm not showing your That's face. Dope. I'm just asking you, how many other job sites are you filming, right? I mean, how many other job sites are you on right now, demolition wise, with these just, two big ones? Just this one, what I'm on. Then, then, then the other, because I see you guys are over there too. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I wouldn't put you on camera if you didn't be. I'm just. You was up there in Salem when I was tearing Gina's down. Oh, come on. I mean, I mean, I, but I don't do anything illegal or stupid. Oh, I, I, I just don't. I got my own reasons. I don't want I understand. I'm not on Facebook or anything. Else. I understand. Yeah, it's just really sad. Yeah, yeah, that was back. Geez, that was back in third week of September. I, I remember it was the day before I left for since You guys were there on a... Tuesday and Wednesday, you know, yep. tearing that. Yep, I just started down. when you come up there. Well, I, I just, I just happened to see you guys, and I, and I just record stuff for my YouTube pages all, and I just, oh, I, I, I was happened to have lunch that day, and I seen you guys. Yeah, we were right there, there on it, wasn't we? Yeah, hey, you guys do a good job, you know. That's him right there. Yep. See where these power lines are completely charred. That's all gonna have to be replaced. Uh, like a popsicle. And that wall's gonna. <coughs> collapse at some point today. Can't really get any closer to the site to show you guys the more, but this is. Hey, it's gonna be smoldering here for a while. 
You been over to, to food for this yet to shoot some of that over there, that mess? No. no. Yeah, they that burned down too. That burned down last night, I heard. What? That burned down last night, I heard. Yeah, they said they believed there was some kind of explosion that, yeah. that caused it. I don't know what caused this one, but it's... Yeah, they're going to be here for a lot longer on this one than they will be on that one. That one's a small job compared to... To this one, I mean, that's yeah, they need more excavators, but that's probably all because they got the other one over there than the one right here. And I don't know how many overall you know Jurgens has, I mean, but it's just a complete nightmare. It's just did you work here by any chance or no. on the radio? Yeah. It's pretty bad what's happened around here, but when you drive around this neighborhood, it's not really a surprise. When you see all the decay and the boarded up houses, burned out houses, people just don't care over here. It's all the jobs that have left. All the jobs that have left. Years ago, so. This used to be the biggest GM town outside of Michigan. Yeah, outside of Detroit. Outside, outside of Detroit and Flint, yeah. There's nothing left. There's zero left. Nope. All we got is right pattern. Without that, this area would be completely exterminated. Yeah, they're going to be... They're probably going to have to work through tomorrow, too. Because, man, if these hot spots are still active, they just can't leave this. Yeah, it's just... It's amazing, and... Part of this caught on fire last year too. They should have. Right. Yeah, the other half caught on fire. Too. It was right over. On the other side. Yeah, on the other side. Yeah, it was right in that area, right there, right over in this area. Wish they'd make the owner tear the rest of the damn thing down and just be done with it. Yeah. So that way they don't have to come back here. I mean, lightning could strike twice, and it given this area, I mean, I know because I live in this area, I would not be surprised. It's sad to say, I wish I didn't have to say that, but it's the truth, I mean, you know. Yeah, even me, the guy who supposedly was the caretaker, he said, I walked through it yesterday, everything was fine. I came in today, and they told me it's on fire. Yeah, that, that just doesn't seem... That just seems kind of suspicious. How you doing, man? My heart goes out to you guys. I know you guys got have had a long day and night. Yeah, they've had a rough last 24 hours with all this craziness over here, and it's and it's on telling if something's gonna go down tonight again. They can tell that smoke, it still was smoldering big time. It's. So you just heard about this on the radio? Well, I saw it. I think it was on TV, too. Yeah. Yeah, I honestly don't have too much hope for this area. Just what I've seen in this, uh, this area over the last several years, I don't have too much hope that it's going to get better. I mean. Like they're bringing in another ladder. I don't know if they're getting ready to hook up another hose, but I don't know. I don't know if he's getting ready to hook up another hydrant here because there's two more trucks that I don't know if they're, or I don't know if they're leaving or if they're just. Yeah, it looks like he's. Yeah, I can't. Those guys are gone. Yeah. Those are, oh, yeah, 
Yeah, it looks like it looks like they could be put in a third hose and hopefully they can hopefully their hose will extend from that other hydrant. It's back To what what hundreds of what what are you? They're, they're 113 and 114. It usually means they're they're reserved. They oh, you mean the hydrants? Well, no, the, the number of the vehicles. They may be not just the line units, but guys they've called in. I don't know. I don't know what what garage they're at, of, but yeah, their resources yeah. are stretched well, really me. thin right now because with what's happened over yeah. over there, then this, and then you know all the o overdoses that they respond to all the time. Their resources are stretched thin. Yeah, so 14's is up from North Main. Where at? On Fairview? Yeah, they're out at Fairview. 13 is over on the west side out at uh, 3rd and uh, McGee. West. 3rd and McGee. Yeah. No, on no, McGee's that way. No, James H. McGee. Oh, James H. McGee, okay. Yeah, boy, you sure know a lot of this stuff. I don't know where all these trucks are from. You work for the press? No, no. I just watch fire trucks. Watch fire trucks. Where's 14? And Adam, I can't see what that other engine's from, but... Yeah, I can't tell either. It looked like it was 116, so he'd be out way on the northwest side. But I don't know if it is or not. Yeah, then I don't know about engine 14, but it's... Yeah, yeah. Now, if there's any more fires, they'll have to call it mutual aid. Well, here it goes out to you guys, because I know you guys have had a rough night, you know, and day with this all this shit. Yeah, I know. I see that, the glass hat. Yeah. Yeah, that's just unreal. It just... Well, pe people said they could see the fire as far away as Tip City and Greenville. The smoke... And these power lines are going to have to be replaced. Oh, yeah. Those are gone. Oh, well. All the craziness. Two big fires within 24 hours. Actually, about, about 10 hours apart. Yeah, the food for this and this one, it's just just a complete nightmare over here is all it is, man. It just... Insane. Yeah. They don't care if it all... They don't care if the whole fucking city burns down. The people doing this shit. What, what part of town are you from? Well, I live down south. Oh, like Kettering or Centerville or Miami's Virgin? Yeah, Kettering. Kettering. Yeah, I live pretty close to here and it's... Yeah, I, I, I saw this right away this morning as I was leaving my I, house and it just... I wasn't able to get any videos because I wasn't able to stay, but... But man, I, I saw the videos online of it that were posted like right away that the news were, was were, was doing that they were doing. It was just it was just wild. It just well, anyway.
Hey, how many engines you guys got here? What, four right now? So I thought I seen two there, but it looks like three or four. Looks like four. If you guys requested to the demolition crew that they stay here tomorrow till they get enough debris gone where the smoke is completely. Uh, 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 we're working on the smoke, not the demolition Yeah. Yeah, because I don't know how long it's going to take to get all this out with all this smolder. And it's pretty big, a lot bigger than the one at Food for Less. Got at least five times the area that burned than what that was. I mean. You one of the inspectors too? No. See the excavation equipment right there. Yeah, it's a mess and a big nightmare. Just they don't care. People that keep setting these fires, they don't care. Yep.
They got four engines here. Looks like they're bringing in a fifth engine. Was this the area that you guys believed the fire started in? Because it looked like this was got it the worst. Was this? Not sure. Yeah, because it just... It's just a complete nightmare. It's just... Between this and what happened over there last night, I know it's been a hell of a long freaking day and night for you guys. And still got tonight. And just pray that nothing freaking happens, nothing else happens tonight. Because I know it has to be a drain on your guys' resources. I mean, having to, you know, we enjoy it. You guys been on since, since this morning or last night? This morning. They've done a pretty good job keeping the most of the water off the street. But see some icicles in the grass though, but that's just normal when you have this kind of thing. Looks like they might be hooking up another hose here. If they're able to. You guys getting ready to hook up another hose to the... Uh, we're switching crews out, so we're resetting a little bit. Well, you have to give the guys a break. I mean, it's just, if you're able to, it's... This has to be very exhausting. It's sad, it really is. It's sad, it really is. Yeah. People that do this don't care what happens. Then that other fire, a few not far from here, that grocery store fire. Then this. It was it was right it was right about 6:15 because where I live is not too far from here. And as I was leaving my house, I seen it 
caught on fire. Then when I got downtown about 6.30, you could see the smoke was way oh, was all over the place. And there were people saying you could see to as far away as Greenville and yeah. Tip City, the smoke. Uh, I was reading in the, on posted by uh, Dayton Daily News uh, that uh, you could even see it from... Uh, uh, space because the wind was carrying it up. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I wouldn't doubt that at all. I would not doubt that at all. Yeah, just another piece of history gone. Just... Spent 38 years of my life in here. 38 years of your life? Both of us. Yeah. Both of us.